get ready to let go of holding on. It's time to stop watching what's going on out there and take action. Acting on what you are being guided to do right now is the only way you will find your balance as the power struggles intensify between the obsolete world that's breaking down and the emerging new world. We are all playing out our own version of what this will become, either consciously or unconsciously. Striking a balance is what you will desire most when chaos strikes and is the least likely to happen if you are not prepared. Letting go of holding on to what no longer serves you is what's about to happen, whether you're ready or not. Like I said before, we're all going through that doorway. We will go through it willingly or wait to get pushed, but either way, we're going through that door. That's where we all are on the timeline right now, but you have help. Awakening the connection to those who have always been looking out for you, your guides are waiting for you to ask for their help. Life is speeding up and slowing down all at the same time. Speeding up will make you feel like you're out of control and too late. Slowing down is time to reflect on what's happening while wrestling with feelings of impatience. These are strong opposites and unavoidable, so expect them. These conflicts will require you to reach a balance. However, the urgency of the moment will make that more difficult to do if you are not listening to your inner guidance system. So since you cannot control the impending chaos that everyone will be experiencing, you must make a choice. Are you bold enough to go where no person has been before by actively playing your part in creating a new world? Or will you choose to watch on the sidelines, hoping everyone else will fix all this? This is happening right now and will become more intense. Navigating your life through this radical uncertainty will force you to let go of holding on to whatever has trapped you in a broken world, fighting to remain intact. This is a reflection of your own inner struggle, trying to hold on to people and things that are no longer a vibrational match to your thinking or needs. This doesn't have to be hard. In fact, it's not supposed to be hard at all. The only thing that will make it hard is your resistance to the truth of what is. What is a vibrational match and what is not? You will gain a sense of this release when you willingly let go of the first thing that is weighing you down. This first step will change your life so much that the next thing or person you need to release will be welcomed and not resisted. I always tell you this life is not all there is. Once you really comprehend this fact, letting go of anything or anyone that is no longer a match for you will become obvious and necessary. Releasing it is the next step. To do this responsibly, I suggest you write about it first. Once you review what you wrote, you will reach a deeper understanding of the situation. This is a work in progress, so do not act until you have fully understood both sides of the situation. This is playing your part in creating a new way of honoring yourself while learning to release what no longer serves you. This process of letting go only becomes hard when you resist. So I'm going to read from the other little book, How to Live a Guided Life, Meeting the Real You. Okay. And this one's called Release All Resistance. <laughs> and this is from the guides. Your resistance creates your suffering. 
People feel pain when they react to physical harm, but when they react to mental harm, it results in resistance to what's occurring naturally. This resistance coming from your mind creates suffering. Suffering continues as long as you resist. If you resist all the time and can't stop it, you will become fearful of the future and receive more stress. So when somebody tells you to be in the moment, what they are saying is to be in the flow of things as things happen naturally without resisting. The best example is water. Water is soft and flexible and it resists nothing. It only goes with the flow. However, water contains much powerful energy and can wear down anything as it flows over it, even solid rock. So allow yourself to be in the flow like the water and do not resist anything. Allow life to happen naturally. And this is my part, how it works. In addition to the stress that resistance causes, it also causes worry and panic. You must break the cycle of resistance. People who do not break the cycle of resistance say things like, they hit rock bottom. Others give up altogether, which isn't going with the flow at all, but sinking. Resistance is an automatic response to something you cannot control. The rock in the river has no control over the water flowing over it as it wears the rock down. Even the strongest resistance to something will not win out in the end. Okay, so just remember, you have help. You are never alone and always being guided.